Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about renal mechanism for the regulation of pH. Renal mechanism is the third line of defense in the acid base balance and it is a permanent mechanism. Major renal mechanisms include first one excretion of H plus ions then bicarbonate mechanism or recovery or reabsorption of bicarbonate then excretion of titrable acids and fourth one is excretion of ammonium ions are the four major renal mechanisms. Let's see this mechanisms one by one. So, this blood, proximal convoluted tubule or PCT cells, then tubular lumen. In the proximal convoluted tubule or proximal tubular cells, there is the formation of carbonic acid from carbon dioxide and water with the enzyme carbonic anhydrase. So, carbon dioxide combines with water to form carbonic acid. The enzyme is carbonic anhydrase. This enzyme is present in renal tubular epithelial cells. Then this carbonic acid dissociates to H plus and HCO3 minus. It dissociates to H plus and HCO3 minus. This H plus ions are secreted in tubular lumen in exchange of sodium ions. It is excreted in tubular lumen in the exchange of sodium ions. And these H plus ions are excreted in urine. So this is the first mechanism that is the excretion of H plus ions. So in the proximal convoluted tubule there is formation of carbonic acid from carbon dioxide and water with the help of enzyme carbonic anhydrase. This enzyme is present in renal tubular epithelial cells. Then this carbonic acid gets dissociated to H plus and HCO3 minus. This H plus ions are secreted in tubular lumen in exchange of sodium ions and this H plus ions are excreted in urine. This is the first mechanism that is excretion of H plus ions. Then there will be excretion of reabsorption of this bicarbonate and sodium into the blood. Reabsorption of bicarbonate and sodium into the blood. And the energy is provided by sodium pump. So, the reabsorption of bicarbonate, it is sodium dependent and the energy is uh, provided by sodium pump. So, there will be reabsorption of bicarbonate together with sodium into the blood and the energy is provided by sodium pump. So, the reabsorption of bicarbonate is sodium dependent. The second mechanism is bicarbonate mechanism that is the recovery or the absorption of bicarbonate. So, let us see the mechanism. Here, Filtered bicarbonate combines with this H plus ions. With this H plus ions, filtered bicarbonate combines and form H2CO3 or carbonic acid. This carbonic acid gets dissociated to carbon dioxide and water with the help of enzyme carbonic and hydrates. Carbon dioxide and water. This carbon dioxide is diffusible. So, it enters tubular cell and forms again carbonic acid with water with the enzyme carbonic anhydrase. Carbonic acid dissociates to H plus and HCO3 minus and this HCO3 minus is reabsorbed into the blood along with sodium. So, this is the second mechanism that is the recovery of bicarbonate or reabsorption of bicarbonate. So, here filtered bicarbonate combines with H plus to form carbonic acid. 
This carbonic acid dissolves to H, uh, H plus CO2 uh, carbon dioxide and water. This carbon dioxide is diffusible, so it enters tubular cell and forms carbonic acid again with the enzyme carbonic anhydrase. Carbon, this car, uh, carbonic acid then dissociates to H plus and HCO3 minus, HCO3 minus then reabsorbed into the blood together with sodium. So this is the recovery or reabsorption of bicarbonate that is the second mechanism. Then in the third mechanism that is excretion of titrable acid or that is known as phosphate mechanism. So it is in distal convoluted tube. It is a distal convoluted tubule. So here, phosphate buffer plays an important role in this mechanism. Here, phosphate buffer plays an important role. These reactions are same in the case of this third mechanism that is uh, the excretion of titrable acid. And it is in the distal convoluted tubule. Here, Phosphate buffer. It plays an important role in this mechanism. So, it is known as phosphate mechanism. Here, so, uh, disodium hydrogen phosphate gets dissociates to sodium and NaHPO4. Disodium hydrogen phosphate. Na2HPO4. It gets dissociates to Na plus and sodium hydrogen phosphate. NaHPO4. This NaHPO4 then combines with the H plus and it forms NaH2PO4 that is acid phosphate or sodium dihydrogen phosphate. This process starts in proximal tubule to distal tubule and this NaH2PO4 or this acid phosphate that is excreted in urine. So, this is the mechanism of excretion of H plus as H2PO4 minus. So, here in this mechanism, phosphate buffer plays an important role. Uh, disodium hydrogen phosphate or Na2HPO4 gets dissociates to Na and NaHPO4. This NaHPO4 then combines with the H plus to form NaH2PO4 and NaH2PO4 is excreted in urine. This is the mechanism of excretion of H plus as H2PO4 minus. Then the third mechanism that is excretion of ammonium ions. Excretion of ammonium ions. This mechanism is in distal tubule where the synthesis of ammonia takes place by the uh, in, by the renal tubular epithelial cells. So, this reaction takes place in distal convoluted tubule where the synthesis of ammonia takes place. So, here glutamine undergoes deamination by the enzyme glutaminase and it forms glutamate and ammonia. It forms glutamate and ammonia with the help of water. So, glutamate and ammonia. This ammonia is diffusible. So, it enters tubular lumen. It enters tubular lumen and here it combines with H plus and forms ammonium ions. And this ammonium ions combines with chloride or phosphate ions and excreted in so, it forms NH4Cl and ammonium chloride and it will be excreted in urine. So, these are the mechanisms in the uh, excretion of ammonium ions. So, here glutamine undergoes deamination with the enzyme glutaminase to form glutamate am ammonia. This ammonia, it is diffusible. As it is diffusible, it enters into the tubular lumen and it combines with the H plus to form ammonium ions. Ammonium ions then forms uh, ammonium chloride or ammonium phosphate and it is treated in urine. So, this is the fourth mechanism that is the excretion of ammonium ions. So, this is renal mechanism for the regulation of pH. This is today's topic. Thank you for watching.